Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. It is the middle of summer for me, it is blazing hot, so I figured I would share some summer recommendations in this video. These are going to be books set during the summer, set on the beach, on vacation. Some are going to be rom-coms, some are not going to be rom-coms. It's going to be a sort of wide range of summer reads but still fitting that summer beachy vibe. But before I get into all of my recommendations of books to read this summer, I do want to share the sponsor for today's video. Today Today's video is sponsored by Harlequin Books. They have a bunch of amazing new romances that are out this summer that you don't want to miss out on. They have everything from rom-coms to steamier reads and they have some great diverse romances. I do have a 25% discount code if you want to buy any of their books but let me show you guys some of their summer releases. First up is Just a Few Kisses by JC Lee. This is a fake dating romance with an age gap and an Asian heroine. If you're looking for a hot sports romance there's Diamond Ring by Katie Casey. It's an MM romance between baseball players. One's a pitcher and one's a catcher. And then this one is The Build-Up by Tati Richardson. It's a black romance with plus size rep with the office romance trope. If you're feeling like reading a rom-com this summer, The Roommate Pact by Allison Ashley is for you. It's a roommates and friends to lovers romance. The hero gets injured during a rock climbing accident and the heroine moves in with him to take care of him. And then Full Moon Over Freedom by Angelina M. Lopez is coming out later this summer. It's a diverse small town romance the heroine is a single mother. She returns home to be with her big Mexican-American family and the hero is the guy she lost her virginity to and he's also the guy who's been pining after her all these years. So be sure to check out all these wonderful romances as well as a bunch of other ones on the Summer of Love page on the Harlequin website. I'll leave a link in my description down below and you can also use the code BOOKLOVERS25 for 25% off your harlequin.com order. And now back to the rest of this video. All right so here are some books that are perfect to read if you're craving that summery beachy vibe. First off I can't not start off with Emily Henry. If you haven't read Emily Henry yet, this is your sign to do so ASAP. My first recommendation is Beach Read, which was actually Emily Henry's first adult book. I freaking loved it. I was amazed by it. And I mean, the title does say it all. It's set on the beach, about two writers, but it's not exactly the rom-com that you might expect it would be based on this cover. I'm still counting it as a beach read though because of the title and it's set on a beach. So the hero here, he writes literary fiction and the heroine, and she is a romance author who doesn't believe in love anymore. The heroine inherits her late father's beach house, the hero is one of her new neighbors, and these two discover that they are both experiencing writer's block. They end up making a deal with each other to get out of their slums where she'll take him on these sort of fake romantic date so he can start writing a romance and he'll take her all over town on this sort of literary journey so she can start writing a literary fiction novel. So they're writing in each other's genres so they can spark back their writing mojo. It's funny and heartbreaking just all the emotions and so wonderfully written. I just loved it and it's definitely perfect to read during the summer. Another sort of summary read from Emily Henry is People We Meet on Vacation. So this one is one of my vacation romance recommendations. It's another favorite of mine. It's a best friends to lovers sort of second chance romance. It's got my two favorite tropes so obviously I loved it. The main characters here met in college and since then every year, every summer, they go on vacation together. And this has happened up until two years ago where something mysterious happened to break up their friendship. This summer is the last summer to fix things and it's up to the heroine to get the hero to go on vacation with her to fix their relationship. This one is super hilarious hilarious as well. I love Emily Henry's sense of humor in her books. All the banter is so much fun but there's also a lot of good angst here because I mean obviously their relationship, their friendship is broken. We have mutual pining going on between two best friends and there's also a slow buildup of trying to figure out what happened two years ago and how they're going to make things work romantically and everything was just so well done. So this one is great if you're looking for a fantastic vacation romance. And then I'm recommending 40 Love by Olivia Dade. This is a sports romance to read this summer. It's a tennis romance with a heroine. She works at a school and it's vacation time so she goes on vacation with her best friend to this really nice resort and she ends up falling for a hot younger man 
who is also a former tennis pro. So this one is an age gap romance with an older heroine and oh my gosh the hero here is literally the sweetest. He is at the resort because he is giving out some tennis lessons so he does teach the heroine how to play tennis. He falls so fast and so hard and he pretty much spends the book trying his best to woo the heroine and trying to give him a chance not just during these few weeks but past that as well because he just knows that she's the one for him so this was just the sweetest vacation romance. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something with all the good feels. And then I have quite a few Tessa Bailey recommendations next. She just has a bunch of books that are perfect for the summer. First up is her more popular series, It Happened One Summer. This one is a grumpy sunshine romance that's set at the seaside town in Washington. The heroine here is a wild child party girl who partied a little bit too hard one time, so she's forced to be sent off to this little town. And for the first time in her life, she has to do some work. She has to take care of her late father's rundown bar. The hero is a grumpy sea captain who couldn't be more different from her, so this one is a wonderful opposites attract romance. It's got lots of good steam. I mean it's Tessa Bailey. You can't go wrong with her if you're looking for some spice in your summer reads. And then the sequel to It Happened One Summer also fits the summer vibes because it's still set at this seaside town. So this one is Hook, Line, and Sinker and this one is about the sister of the heroine from book one. It's friends to lovers this time and if you read It Happened One Summer first you actually get to see the development of that friend friendship in that first book. You get to see how Fox and Hannah start up in that book and then in their own book they are pretty much besties. They're really close texting all the time but then feelings do start to crop up. The hero is a former man horror and as much as he adores his new best friend he believes that he's not good enough for her because of his past reputation. It gets a little angsty with a push and pull and surprisingly it is a bit slow burn for a Tessa Bailey book. These two definitely take their time going from friends to lovers, but you do have the beautiful backdrop of this small seaside town in Washington. Both the heroes in the series work on a ship together, so both of them would make for some great summer reads. There's also the Beach Kingdom series by Tessa Bailey. These are some more beach romances, romances that are set on the beach. It's actually set in Long Beach, New York. It's a three book new adult series and it's about three brothers, three prince brothers. Book one is Mouth to Mouth. The hero here, he has a a prison record. The heroine is a very sheltered college girl. It's very much an opposites attract kind of romance. It's sweet and fluffy and adorable. In my opinion, it is one of Tessa Bailey's cutest romances. Book two is Heat Stroke, and I think this is actually Tessa Bailey's first MM romance. I think think. Both the heroes here are bodyguards working at the same beach. One is openly gay, he's one of the brothers, and the other one has always thought he was straight until he starts getting feelings for the other hero. The romance has some slight forbidden vibes here. We have a hero who is discovering his new sexuality and there is quite a bit of angst here as well. And then the third and last book in the series is called Sink or Swim. This last book is about the oldest prince brother, the one who is the most responsible, the one who's always taking care of his family and he has a friends to lovers romance. He's had a crush on the girl next door who is also his best friend since childhood. There's unrequited love on both sides so technically it's not unrequited, it is requited. They just don't talk about their feelings so they don't know the other person loves them back. We have lots of pining here and one of my favorite things about this is that we do have a jealous hero who gets all possessive over the heroine when she finally starts to date. So the whole series is great. The whole Beach Kingdom series is a lot of fun. I highly recommend it, especially since it's one of Tessa Bailey's more underrated series. And then I do have one last Tessa Bailey book to recommend for the summer before I move on to all of my other authors. This one is My Killer Vacation. It's a cozy mystery beach romance. The heroine finds a dead body in her summer beach rental house, and the hero is hired to investigate who killed the guy. This book is actually hilarious. I was laughing out loud multiple times while I was reading it. The whole meet cue was great. The heroine, she has zero experience when it comes to doing any sort of investigations, but she joins in on the hero's investigation, much to his reluctance. He tries to keep her away, keep her safe, all while the whole time he's also lusting after her 
very badly. He's a bit of a grump too, and she is a wholesome elementary school teacher. So the dynamics between them were great. They were hot and fun together. I love this one. And then moving on to my next recommendation, which is Karina Halley. She has two books that are perfect to read for the summer. This first one is One Hot Italian Summer. One Hot Italian Summer is a single dad romance that's set in Tuscany. The heroine is a writer who is struggling with writing after losing her writing partner. So her agent tells her to go away to Tuscany to sort of relax, to revive herself and get back into writing. She's staying in this little Italian villa, which she thinks she has all to herself, except she's not alone because it's also being inhabited by the hero and his 10 year old son. The hero here is hot and Italian and so good to his son. He absolutely whispers sweet nothings to the heroine in Italian and it was just chef's kiss. The steam is amazing. There's all this great tension and chemistry, lots of forced proximity with them living in this villa together. It's basically a summer fling that turns into something more and I loved it. And then the other Karina Halley book is set on a deserted island. Love Wrecked is a rom-com about these two characters who get shipwrecked and stuck on a deserted island. The main characters here are the groomsmen and the maid of honor for this destination wedding and they're on their way to Fiji for that destination wedding when their ship crashes in the middle of a storm and they land in this remote middle of nowhere island. It is a rom-com so it's hilarious and ridiculous and no one dies here. They just get into these funny situations while trying to survive and get off this island. The hero is a huge grump but once he starts falling for the heroine he gets so soft for her. He gets all sweet and protective so this one was great. It's one of my favorites from Karina Halley. For my next recommendation if you're feeling like reading a more emotional and heartbreaking romance. Technically, Colleen Hoover does have a beach read. Heartbones is a new adult romance that is set on the beach. It's about a girl who is about to go to college, but the summer before, her mother passes away from an overdose and she has to move away to this beach town to live with her estranged dad. She ends up falling for the rich boy next door who does hold a lot of secrets. It's Colleen Hoover, so it is definitely not a rom-com sort of beach read. It's hard-hitting and angsty, but it's great if that's what you're in the mood for. The hero hides a ton of heartbreaking secrets. The heroine herself is dealing with a lot of trauma in her past, but the romance is sweet and perfect for them. I'm also recommending Runaway Groomsman by Megan Quinn, which does have some summery vibes, mainly because it starts off with a wedding and the hero sort of runs away on his own little vacation. So the wedding in the beginning of this book is actually the hero's ex's wedding. She is getting married to his ex-best friend who she cheated on the hero with. The hero does ruin the wedding. He realizes that it's ridiculous for him to even be there. He runs away to this small town where the heroine runs this cabin renting business. It's a slow burn romance between them, sort of friends to lovers. These two develop a friendship first just because the heroine does have a boyfriend at the time, but there are definitely some underlying feelings between the main characters. It's just a very sweet and low angst kind of summary read. And then I have Bad Girl Reputation by L. Kennedy. It's book two in the Avalon Bay series, which is a series set at this small beach town. I didn't love book one, but the second book was great. It's a second chance romance between high school on and off again sweethearts. They had a very toxic romance when they were younger and it ended on a terrible note when the heroine left him and left everyone when she ran away to start a new life. But now she's back in town for her mother's funeral and all those feelings between the former high school sweethearts are still there. What I really liked about this one was actually the character growth for both the main characters, but especially for the hero. He grows up a lot throughout the book, becoming someone worthy of the heroine who grows out of being that wild child party girl who never took anything seriously. They become people that are deserving of their second chance, so it's pretty heartwarming to read, and plus it is set on this beach. I have another sports romance recommendation for this summer, which is Breakline by Sarah E. Green. It's a surfer romance, and I don't know why surfer romances aren't more common, but whatever. This one is perfect to read this summer. Both the main characters are professional surfers, or at least the heroine is hoping to go pro to follow in her father's footsteps, and the hero is at the top of his game at the moment, but he's also getting tired 
of it all, of the whole industry. So he goes away to this small beach town to recharge and revive his love for the sport, and this is where he meets the heroine and falls for her. It's a noodle romance, very sweet and emotional. It's just got the surfer twist to it. And then my last recommendation is a sort of vacation slash destination wedding romance for the summer. It's Jana Goes Wild by Farrah Heron. It's a second chance romance where the main characters share a child. Even after five, six years, she still hates him and he still wants her back. In this book, the whole family goes to Tanzania for a destination wedding. It's at the Serengeti National Park. This book was so much fun to read with this whole setting, them going on tours, getting to see giraffes and elephants. The second chance romance part is slow but sweet, so if you're curious about a sort of vacation romance that's set in Tanzania, you should read this one. And those were all of my recommendations for books to read this summer. These are all beachy or vacation set books. As always, links to everything will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!